Hi, I'm Allison. This is Leo. And today we're going to show you how I give Leo a bath. And um, he's dying to get in the water, so let's get started. I like to give my babies a bath in the kitchen for as long as possible. It's such a nice height, it's really comfortable to give them a bath when they're on the counter. And I like to turn the oven on so it's nice and warm in here. So I've got it on at 350 and we're ready to go. Are you ready, big guy? Let's go. When Leo was a newborn, there was a trick besides the oven being on that kept him happy in the bathtub. He used to scream during his bath until we started doing this, which is taking a wet, a washcloth, making it wet, really soaking it, and then laying it on his chest while he took a bath. So the top part of him always stayed warm. The problem is now that he's older, he puts it in his mouth <laughs> and drinks all that kind of dirty bath water. So we don't really do that anymore. But as a newborn, it was a great way to keep him warm during his bath. I don't use a lot of soap when I'm bathing um, my baby. I think it really dries their skin out, especially it's, it's winter right now. And um, when it's cold out and their skin gets so dry anyway, I, I only really like to use soap where they're very dirty. So you want to clean the cleanest part of your baby first while your washcloth is really clean. So you start with his face. And you just want to, you know, gently rub um, over his eyes and getting all that gunk that's in the middle and around inside kind of their ear, definitely behind their ear where it gets some gunky buildup. And then you want to try to lift up their chin, especially if they drink from a bottle, a lot of milk drips down there and, and you don't want to have any of that sticky stuff sitting on their skin. I make sure that they get their hands in the water and and open up their fingers because when they stick their hands in their mouth a lot, their saliva gets in there and it's kind of stinky. I do like to use a little bit of gentle baby soap in their tushy region. I just use a very little bit and wash around back there. Leo has a lot of hair um, by any standards and he does need his hair shampooed. Um, I've had balder babies that really didn't need a lot of shampoo in their hair and I would just use the head to toe body wash but for Leo I really like to use actual shampoo because it keeps his hair from getting too greasy. Any kind of mild shampoo will do the trick. I lift his head from the back just so I could support his head and, and, and also be able to really, you know, wash down this bottom part as well. When you're rinsing it out, just place a hand on their forehead and as you're putting water in the hair, you push the water back. And that really keeps it completely out of their eyes. So our last step is I like to just sit him up and rinse off the soap from his body with some clean water. And I'll fill it in here first to make sure that it's the right temperature with the bath and then he doesn't get scalded. All right, that's it, buddy. Okay, and that's our clean little guy. Hi, I'm Allison. This is Leo. And today we're going to show you how I give Leo a bath. And um, he's dying to get in the water, so let's get started. I like to give my babies a bath in the kitchen for as long as possible.